Hey guys, in this review, we're gonna be going over all things Sealy. I was able to go online to Belk and take advantage of their Labor Day sale. They were doing 60 to 65% off on bedding. So I did snag a few satin pillow cover cases and a few memory foam pillows for a better night's sleep. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So first thing on the list we have is the Sealy Satin Pillowcase Covers and this has aloe incorporated into it. It has a zipper construction that encases the entire pillow and it is machine washable and you can dry it. So let's open this bad boy up and see how it is. Satin usually has, wow, that glossy finish to it. Super soft. Look at the texture, the hand of this. This really helps with keeping your hair clean, not so frizzy, not so much tangling. Sometimes you get that from cotton pillows um, and sometimes from cotton covers too. Plus you have the zippered cover here on the back, which I think is really good because sometimes you tend to put the pillowcases onto the pillows that don't have those zippered pieces. They're just kind of open. So then your pillow kind of slides out from time to time. You're fixing it. This here, you just open it up, put the pillow right inside, and close that puppy right up. So I really love, love this. For your pillows, really nice construction. Silly makes a lot of great quality bedding products, so I would definitely check them out. I got this from Belk for $3.20 a pack. So I bought seven of these for my pillows. So I will be putting them to really, really good use. But without further ado, let's move on. Let's head over and see how those pillows are looking. Now we have the Sealy Memory Foam Pillows. Now, memory foam pillows can get pretty pricey. You can look at Purple Pillows, Beautyrest Pillows, Casper Memory Foam Pillows, uh, Layla has some pillows. Memory foam pillows can usually run you $70, $80, $90, $90 even $100. Tempur-Pedic I have seen with the most expensive memory foam pillows i went on belk i found this one um, i really love the texture of this and the hand so this here has a polyester cover look at the quilting on here very very nice it almost has like a fill on the top layer here of the pillow but it has like these different geometric shapes, really, really soft, very, very buttery smooth hand. But on the back, you have the zippered cover where you can open it up. So you open it up here at the bottom. And boom, you have the core piece of memory foam very responsive a little bit of a slow response to your body but it's supposed to be a conforming memory foam it's supposed to give you that pressure relief on your neck and head area i've been laying on this the last few nights and it's such a difference from your down alternative or from your polyester fiber filled pillows these really do help with giving you that pressure relief so this one also comes with a gusset, which I feel also gives you that luxurious look that you're looking for in a pillow. You have the gusset all around here towards the end and all around the edges of the pillow. This is a thick pillow. Look how thick this is. This is a 5.75 inch in height memory foam pillow. So definitely has some loft. This is perfect for a side sleeper, I feel like, and a back sleeper where you need that medium firmness. Like I said, I need that medium firm Goldilocks feel where it's not too firm, but it's not too soft and I'm sinking in it. This has just the right amount of cushioning and just pressure, putting some pressure on it. 
and I'm telling you, it's really good at kind of responding to some of the movements on the top of it. Definitely bounces back right into place. But this pillow right here was definitely worth the investment, definitely worth the deal. I got it on Belk for $26.73. It was originally $65. I felt like this was a steal because it gives me everything that I need. I feel like this is a luxury pillow that you would pay $100 to sleep on, but you can get it for a fraction of the price. But this is my review on the Sealy Memory Foam Pillow and the aloe cover. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.